thank God for your sacrifice. We thank God for your time and the opportunity that you're going to share here. We pray it's going to be life changing because you get an opportunity to meet those who have been marginalized, those who have no hope, and those who only through your example and the work that you do will show forth that Christ is real, God is not dead, but still alive, and that lives can be changed and transformed. Uh, Sandy, we have never seen anything like it, and I hope that we never will see anything like it again. I started coming up my steps. That's when we got scared, of course. And you all are here spending a week of your limited amount of time to help some folks have a better life. God will bless you for that. How many of you have had uh, invited 250 people over for lunch? <laughs> or to stay the night? <laughs> we just don't do that sort of thing. And so when we have these events, I told you, I told you Sunday night that uh, Miller said this was a movement. It's a God movement. And movements are inherently messy. <laughs> Right after Sandy happened, almost immediately, we began to see advertisements that s said, Atlantic City is fine, you know, uh, business as usual, and, and uh, obviously wanting to make sure that they still had, uh, you know, the, the business and commercialism and the, the you know, the uh, uh, casinos and stuff. But, like, I think everybody was pretty clear that things wouldn't be fine in Atlantic City, but I'm sure you know, one of the temptations was to kind of sweep sweep things to the shadows or under the rug. So I think it's things like this that expose that and say, no, we're actually not going to allow the casinos to be fine at the expense of other people losing their homes. We want to make sure we advocate for the folks that uh, might be the most marginalized in this situation. So it's, it's really beautiful to see that happen. You see on the news that people um, have had these disasters that have changed their lives. Um, it just hits you right right in your heart and you need to do something to give back so that's why we do it. Um, I get a sense of reality of what other people's lives are like in the world because um, I kind of feel like sometimes you get wrapped up in your own world and your own life and you see what's around you but it gives me a different perspective on you know what people deal with how people live what their challenges are in life and it's it's a good reality check. It's the spirit of God because in times of trouble people draw together and when people are, there's too much division uh, uh, people start to pull apart but it's, it's an event like this draws people together and it, it's hard. It's, uh, it, it, it just makes your heart boil over with joy. It's like the nicest thing anybody has ever done for me. It's really nice that you know People give their time and talents to come and help. Thank you. A huge thank you. And I don't think that's enough. It's, it's been wonderful. Everybody, you know, it's in a good mood. Everybody's eager to help. And they're just wonderful people. I was working for the whole week and everybody was uh, kind of worried and joking because uh, we got up at 7, start work at 4 here in the house, we then go to work and get out of work at 1, 2 in the morning and do it again next day. And they were asking me, are you tired? And I think it was so exciting to see the house coming back that probably my adrenaline is high for a week and I don't feel tired. I'm exhausted, you know, like my, my body is kind of icky and my legs hurt, but I don't want to stop. <laughs> I'm grateful, I'm grateful, I'm grateful. There's no other words to say but that I'm grateful, you know, because who will do that for you? People that don't know you come to help you, you know, so it also taught me that I need to give to people who don't have. But this is the beginning, not the end yet. And go I will be there for everyone. We'll be there. And we were I wanna say, more than we can say. God bless you. And I love you. I will. Oh. <laughs> We gave him everything to the glass. It's hard. It's just so awesome. <laughs> oh.
All the drunk food. <laughs> because there's nobody would help me. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. We did. And there's a perfect time. The folks in Atlantic City who have been so hesitant and so afraid to come forward and ask for help, they're coming. We have gotten two or three calls every day. I was getting calls last night at 8 and 9 o'clock. You planted a seed for, the, for a vine, for Jesus, and the vine is growing, and it's reaching out to the residents of Atlantic City, and I just can't thank you all enough. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah!